Oh, hello. I'm Elaine. Welcome back to my blog at stampwithelaine.com. Today's project is a Thanksgiving card and there's a set called Cottage Reads which has a Thanksgiving greeting on it with Grateful. I'm going to be using that stamp set and the other stamp set I'm using is actually from the annual catalogue and it's called Nuts About Squirrels on page 50 of the May 2022 to April 2023 annual catalogue. So I'm using the Grateful from Cottage Reads and this stamp set called Nuts About Squirrels. Also the picture this dies, there are two dies in this set, they're standalone so you can use it with any stamp set in the current catalogues. Um, I'm using the one with the rectangles but there's also one with circles. I'm also using the Timber 3D embossing folder, these matte decorative dots in all the in colours for 2022 to 2024. The inks I'm using are Early Espresso, Cajun Craze, Pumpkin Pie, Cram Cake and Mossy Meadow. I'm using basic white thick cardstock for my card base and this is cut at eight and a quarter inches by five and seven eighths. In metric this measures 14.5 by 21 centimeters and the long side you score at four and one eighth or 10.5 centimeters. This is the card we're making so behind that you need ordinary basic white which is three and three quarter inches by five and a half that's 9.5 by 14 centimeters and that will go underneath the mossy meadow piece with, from which you cut a window with the picture this dies and this measures three and seven eighths by five and five eighths and in metric that will be 10 centimeters by 14 centimeters and then you need some scraps of basic white so you can stamp your squirrels and leaves and fussy cut them i didn't add an extra piece for inside the card i just stamped directly onto it because I'm not using alcohol markers so it won't bleed through. This is all two-step stamping so you can just simply stamp the image directly onto the cardstock. Now I've mounted my squirrels onto the Stamparatus because I'm using a acetate sheet. I've tried to align the second solid stamp right over the linear image so that it would marry up. And once you've got that, then you can take the guesswork out of it. I'm going to stamp that in Early Espresso first. So ink both of these up and stamp. Switch my plate over, use the Cajun Craze, ink up the Cajun Craze. And I want one squirrel lighter than the other, so I'm going to grab um, a piece of scrap paper and just put it over this squirrel and stamp. Now I also stamped a squirrel in the inside of the card so I'm going to move my squirrel down to the bottom and Make sure the cardstock is in position. Grab my early espresso ink and ink that up. Flip my plate over and I only want to ink up this one. And that was in a fairly dark colour so I won't stamp off. Now I've smudged this so what I think I'll do is um, do some extra stamping. 
there's always a way around this stuff so um, I'm going to stamp some leaves on here now I messed up stamping that leaf so there's a way around it I'm going to stamp off and then stamp on And then I'll fussy cut this. So I fussy cut that. Now I can just stick that on top of this botched up leaf. So that's how you cover up mistakes. We've done the insides of the card, so I'm going to set that aside. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to do a bit more stamping. So I'll need that and the crumb cake for the acorn. So there's this tiny little stamp that will stamp the top of the acorn. Swap ink pads to um, early espresso. And you see there's a little paw print there cut out. So that you need to marry that up with the paw here and stamp oops that was lucky it could have gone so horribly wrong so that's the inside of the card done i'm going to set that aside and we'll do the front <coughs> take your mossy meadow piece and place it on your cutting sandwich Make sure that these two sides are equidistant and that you've got the same gap at the top and the bottom. Place your top cutting plate on top and you're ready to run it through the machine. So I'll do that off camera. So pop those out and remember you can use these as mats for something else so it's not wasted. Now I'll place the other piece of uh, basic white at the back and secure it with washi tape so that I know it's not going to move. Grab a pencil and trace round the hole. Bring back the embossing folder and pop it in. Now this time you need simply your grey plate platform 4 and this platform one. We'll go and emboss that and I'll be back. Now we've got a bit more stamping to do. I'm going to stamp a branch here to the left and this one to the right. Now we want to stamp the leaves, so I'm going to stamp some directly and then some in this second generation so that there's a variation of colour. And I'm going to stamp some on a scrap piece of paper and then fussy cut those out. I think I might have to do the stems in a darker colour. Now I'm going to swap ink pads to pumpkin pie. Without re-inking I can get some lighter coloured leaves. Stamp the vein of the leaves. And then go back to the mossy meadow here. Then um, rub away the pencil marks. Now, I wasn't very happy with this one that I did earlier, so I've done another one off camera. Uh, I've come to the conclusion I don't stamp as well if I'm standing up. So now I want to put dimensionals in the four corners. might also have to put some in the middle here. I'm 
I've removed all the backing pieces from this section here. So now I just need to remove the ones from this piece. And then I think I might do it this way and I get a better idea. Happy with that. Apply adhesive on the back and then glue it to the card front, leaving an even border all round. Now I need to stamp and fussy cut some extra leaves and cut out the squirrel as well. So I'll do that off camera just to save time. <clears throat> so what you do is you angle your scissors at a 45 degree angle and leave a tiny white border all round and you move the paper um, instead of the scissors. I'm going to stamp some extra leaves to embellish with, like there. I'll also stamp a little acorn from the Cottage Reeds stamp set and fussy cut that too. I also want to stamp my greeting and I'm going to create a shadow. So remember to clean your stamp before you use another ink. Now this is pumpkin pie and I'll just stagger it a little bit and I'll fussy cut this too. So I'm going to pop a dimensional on here for his tail, see where that goes. I've put dimensionals on the back, remove the paper, uh, backing paper and pop them along there. I think I might need some extra leaves here to pad it out, cut that in half because it's too big. I think I'll glue this one directly onto the cardstock like so and also the acorn I've popped dimensionals on the back here so remove the backing tape from that as well and pop this on top, dimensionals on the back of this leaf. And lastly add some matte decorative dots. So voila, there's the card completed. So this is a Thanksgiving card. That's the inside. That's the front. So I hope you've enjoyed today's offering. Thanks for joining me. As usual, you'll find all the links to the supplies below this video in the show more section. If you haven't subscribed yet, then do hit the subscribe button so you don't miss future episodes. And if you liked it, then I'd be very grateful if you could give me a thumbs up and share. Thanks for watching. Bye.